Hey guys, it's Alan here at Shift Church and uh, starting this Shift Church podcast. Don't really know what it's going to be called or we're just kind of trying to experiment with it to see how it goes and see where we want it to, what we want it to become. So uh, this is the first installment of our podcast and I want these podcasts to really be a, uh, a time for us to talk a little bit more about uh, a concept from Sunday that I preached about on Sunday. As a way to go into a little bit more detail, uh, maybe describe more of what I was thinking, uh, even on a Sunday morning, seeing what really comes out as the main thing um, and what really gets people thinking and, and maybe going into more detail on that uh, for our, our at groups and for your own individual lives. And so something from this past Sunday that I wanted to, to talk about is uh, destiny. So that word destiny uh, like we said on Sunday, depending on, on your frame of reference, you might have some different kind of, of history behind it, like some weird fatalistic voodoo or some sort of perspective of God that he is like this just genie in a bottle that wants to give you everything that you want, you know, change, you're giving you this destiny or this wonderful destiny that you just declare in your, in your own lives. And I think that word is kind of along the, along the years have been, has been kind of used and abused uh, misunderstood. And so uh, I re- I've been reading this book and I just finished it uh, this week uh, called The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. And it's a book about prayer. It's, it's a neat book if you want to pick it up. But one of the things that I got from it was this concept of destiny and how destiny is not this fatalism, it's not this unknown, it's not a mystery. It is very clearly just the, simply the, re- the result of your decisions, the, your he talks about this formula, your defining decisions plus your daily decisions equals your destiny. Uh, you can know where you're going to end up by looking at the decisions that you've been making throughout your life um, and where they have brought you and where they're going to take you into the future. If you keep doing the same thing, they're going to lead you, lead you into a, a certain destiny. And so how we talked about how every decision we make shapes our future. Um, and we can make these defining this decisions that shift our trajectory, that they shift the trajectory of our lives. You know, so this, this defining decision coupled with new daily decisions, not you know, making defining decisions and then going back to your old daily decisions uh, because then it really wasn't a defining decision. But you make this defining decision followed by new daily decisions and that changes your destiny, your future. Um, now this, we talk about this in our church, that this is, this is what we want. We want life transformation. We want to grow and get better. As we say, uh, we have a plan, and that plan is about you and us together getting better. Getting better at doing this thing called life uh, so that when we go out into the world, we're more authentic uh, with, our, with our lives, with our faith, with what we say we believe. And so it's us, it's you and us together becoming better at, being transformed, as we say in our vision, personal spiritual transformation. That's what we want. We want to to press forward for each one of us to get better at doing this thing called life, living out our faith, living out our faith into every area of our lives to where it's not this compartmentalized thing where we have our faith experience on a Sunday and maybe at our at a small group and then it doesn't have anything to do with the rest of our lives. But how does your life and faith mingle together? How do they intertwine? Uh, how, how are they interconnected? That changes your everyday life. Because with God, it's never too late to make a new defining decision, to make a new defining decision that changes, that shifts your trajectory and changes your future, changes your destiny. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about this in, in terms of, I, was, I had a conversation last week, last Thursday, uh, on a road trip to Phillipsburg, uh, talking about TV dramas. And just TV shows in general, yeah, but I mean, TV dramas and even some comedies, but how they're all about, they're often ta- not, time, not a lot of times about this like plot line that they have to accomplish something. They're just simply about people. They're about relationships. You, know, you have this full cast of people and how they interrelate with each other and how their characters grow deeper. They say in the, in the film industry, you know, you don't, these, these characters are two-dimensional. 
which means they don't really have a lot of personality. You can't really relate to them. They're very shallow. They don't have a lot of, of, of context to them. But in our daily lives, every person is, is, is 3D. And so le learning to live our lives in 3D, understanding our own lives as, our, as being a character in our own lives and how we relate to others around us. Um, and so TV dramas have this interesting way of developing characters and how oftentimes they introduce situations or challenges or even characters specifically that you see how the main cast responds and you know, reacts and responds to this new character or this new situation, this new challenge uh, or this emergency that goes on. And you see how these characters respond to that person or situation. Now, you know, like back in the 80, in the 90s, you know, when I was in high school, we watched shows like Seventh Heaven and Everwood and all you know, those, those good old 90s uh, WB shows before it came to CW. But uh, it's interesting to see how they, how the characters change. Like for instance, like in Seventh Heaven, how you see the girls in the show, they're, they're wholesome and they're, they're innocent and they're, they're growing up as, a, as pastor's daughters. And then they introduce that rebel boyfriend that like none of the family likes, but you see how all the characters, not just the girls, respond to that character and, and when he's introduced. Now, the conversation I had on Thursday was about another show, but basically they introduced this character and everybody hated him, even the audience. Everyone hated him. He was a terrible character and it actually ended up killing the show. The, the show after this, this character was introduced tanked. And so it's interesting to see how different characters, different situations that are introduced into people's lives and, and the way that the, the, the plot even of different shows you know, takes turns how it can really affect the, the life of the show. But how does that have to do with our own life? As, as the quote from a movie that I watch, watched uh, I love, says, you're supposed to be the main character in your own life. So what does it look like for you to be the main character in your own life? What, what does your character, how do you respond to situations or to people that are introduced to your life, to emergencies or drama or conflict or challenges that arise in your life? And how do we help, make, help each other to make these decisions? Um, because we see our lives transform. We want, to, we want to see transformation, right? We want to get better at, at doing this thing called life. We, we watch these shows and we see how these different characters respond negatively to situations and we we it almost in a, subconsciously we're like i don't want to make those decisions because look how their life ended up and so you can learn from someone else someone else in a tv show setting right but this is why looking into our own culture as shift church this is where our mandate comes from you know shifting everyday relationships into authentic community to live god's adventure together fully alive and so this is what we're talking about in our own lives is, is we, may, we help ourselves to make these decisions, how, how to respond to challenges, how to respond to opportunities, how to respond to people, how to respond to emergencies, how do, we, how do we respond to life and also cultivate these, this new life trajectory, maybe not even around a situation or, an, or a challenge or a person. Maybe it's just God saying, hey, you see that in your own life? Hey, you, you, need to, you need to shift your thinking. You need to change your trajectory. You need to shift your trajectory and change your outcome of life. Paul even says this in scripture. He says, imitate my life, my way of living, my way of, of viewing the world, my faith, because look at the outcome of, of my life. It's, it's great. I'm walking with God. This is beautiful. Imitate my life. And he even says in Ephesians 5, he says, imitate Christ. And he just invites them, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And so we, this is where our measurables come from, right? This imitate, this initiate, because when you start to imitate Christ, when you start to imitate others that you respect and their way of life, um, then you start to initiate that same behavior in your own life. And then others start to take notice and they're like, hey, tell me about that. And then you can instigate that behavior in others. You can instigate that way of thinking in others. And every day you get better. 
And so every day, look at, look at every day as, a, as an opportunity to shift your trajectory, to change your destiny for the better, to get better at doing this thing called life, to grow in our faith, to grow in maturity in, in, in our faith and in our understanding of, of Christ and our understanding of ourselves and our understanding of, of how God sees us and how God wants us to bless and, and serve and interact and love each other, love others, um, everyday relationships and how you can transform those into authentic community and learning what it means to live God's adventure in your own life. And so that would be my encouragement this week is, is, is to see your life as better together. Seeing how you can engage in relationship in a way that is life altering, that is shifting your trajectory, seeing someone else's life in your at group or in your one-on-one -on -one close personal relationship and seeing things in their life that you're like, I, I love that. I love your perspective on, on how you view that. Engaging, asking more questions. It's not just about like, you know, hey, I'm, make, I'm thinking about making this big life-altering decision. What do you think? What do you guys think? Now, there may be opportunities and reason for that. Uh, inviting the community into your decision-making processes. But otherwise, I mean, really, it's all about surrounding yourself with a group of, of friends, a group of people who love you and who you love and want to connect more with. Even though you may not know someone very well at the beginning, that's why we say it, it takes time to create authenticity in these relationships, real true depth, relational depth, and becoming more 3D in our, our character. Uh, and them, in, in essence, being characters in our lives around us, uh, seeing how their, this, the, the depth in their own life, the depth in their thinking, the depth in their faith, and starting to see things in others' lives and in our own lives that we see, I want to imitate that. As they're imitating Christ, I'm seeing something, I'm seeing life is better, and I want to get better. And so I'm going to start to imitate that. And I'm going to start to initiate that in my own life. And then others are going to start, like I said, starting to see the result of that and say, hey, what did you do? I want to do that myself. Um, so... I want to encourage you this week to engage in relationship, engage with others uh, in a way that invites this way that we can shift our thinking, shifting our trajectory to change our destiny, to get better, to grow, to, be, to mature in our lives, uh, and how we can do that better together. So I pray you guys have a great week, and I pray that you will uh, start to see how this can this podcast can really start to change your uh, thinking, to shift your thinking in your own life and uh, be encouraged as you, uh, as you live your life week, week in and week out. So, all right, pray, your ble pray blessings over you and uh, see you on Sunday.